Get back a motherfucker. Get back a motherfucker. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction with your boy Isaac, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, today we have Agent Martin, man. New channel alert. New channel has made his first appearance on the live channel, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we've ever reacted to an Agent Martin video. But we have reacted to cop videos, y'all. And uh, cop videos, especially body cam footage videos, are uh, some of the most well-performing things on this channel. Meaning, obviously, y'all boys like it. And ladies, if y'all watching, excuse my disrespect. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, obviously, y'all like it, man. So that means, obviously, we should bring more over to y'all, man. So today, the title is not clickbait, man. We have When Good Cops Stand Up to Corrupt Cops by Agent Martin, man. Um, and yeah, y'all, it's kind of late, man. It's the last reaction of the night. I ain't going to do too much pause and too much extra shit. We just really going to go ahead and get into this, man. But uh, my quick pre-thoughts before we get into this. Cops are some of the most prideful people on the earth, man. Like, I, prideful people on the planet, man. So I'm talking about... It kind of feels good to see something like this, man. I see good cops stand up to the corrupt cops or the bad cops. Because there's way too many bad cops out here, y'all. But uh, that it goes without saying that there are also good cops. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe all cops are bad. I believe the cops are bad that are bad and corrupt. And I believe the cops that don't stand up to those corrupt cops are bad cops as well. But there are some cops that will stand up for what's right and they're genuinely doing shit. I was saying, um, because they believe it's right, and I'm not naive to that, even though I don't like the cops much myself, um, but that's neither here nor there, y'all, cops are prideful as hell, so I'm really interested to see how this type of video is gonna play out, but with that being said, man, I really ain't got too much else to say, man, we just gonna hop straight into it, as always, man, if you're new to the channel, my name is Isaac, you know what I'm saying, welcome home, man, you got lost last time. Hopefully you don't get lost again, man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't get lost no more, man. But, uh, yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so that you're notified whenever I drop another video, man. Um, make sure to go follow me on Instagram at officialisaacn underscore. Um, and head over to my main channel and check that out too, man. It's just Isaac, I-S-A-A-C, man. Pranks and everything over there all the time. I actually just dropped the prank, y'all, like almost two hours ago. Know what I'm saying late night drop, man. So yeah, y'all go tune in that when y'all don't this. Let's get into it. This video got 1.7 million views too in two days. So this, I know this channel eating. Damn, this video gotta be trending. Them to turn on against their fellow. Today we'll be looking at three such instances where a cop turned against their fellow officers. On the 30th of January, 2020, a Lexington police officer spotted a vehicle going way beyond the speed limit. He quickly initiated a traffic stop. Lexington, what? North Carolina or Lexington, he Kentucky? Him. He was surprised to find out who he was dealing with. Okay, so this is Polio. Could you do the E5 and the 55? I was going. Going where? Call out. Where we going? Swap call out. Right over here. I didn't know we had one. We have an armed guy barricaded in the house. Just be a police officer. Where at? Walk down here on the street. Okay. 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 Okay.
we realize that I'd like to know what's going on in my own city. We would have done a bike search. We would have? Yeah. Well, hold on. I've been at the city. I've been down there to the PD the whole day. All right. According to the call, yeah. it says that people would notify they refused to respond because of how it called. So then you got to Okay, I don't know who the f*** that's. First of all, sir, I don't know what you can say. I'm just trying to call. I don't appreciate, I don't appreciate all of this going on and nobody knows what the f*** I'm talking about. Okay. I'm sorry, what's your name? As the chief vented out his frustration, Deputy Szymanski attempted to interject, which the officers didn't like and went over to confront him. Sir, I am too. You're not going to talk about chief like that, sir. You can get the out of my face. I'm just who you are. Okay? This is my... Nah, for real. Did he just walk over there just to press him? Like, bro, you're not going to talk. Like, bro, I ain't going to lie. Like... Y'all grown ass men, bro. Like, okay, they're cops. They probably can't just get to fighting and shit like regular people would because assault and all this other thing, they gonna charge each other. Fuck around, do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what the fuck is going on? This nigga walked all the way down there and just said, You're not gonna talk to my chief like that. But like, what was the point? <laughs> what was the point of that? He grown as hell. He, he, he could have defended himself, brother. <laughs> Anyways. Cops just be funny as hell, man. You don't. You don't. Baby kids who just you need to stop. were fiending for power in school or up. popularity in school, okay. man. But you need to back up. I now they get his little taste of power and they can't okay. handle it. Deputy Szymanski didn't hold back and had no respect for his compatriots. He then proceeded to do something which escalated the already tense situation. Right here, we're not going to be respectful. Okay. Sheriff, you need to back up out of my face, sir. You have no authority. You're not going to tell me what to do, my uh, You're not gonna get my shirt face. You, you told me. Your hands off me, man. Back up, John. Pull him, pull him back. No, he he's gonna share face. face. Stop. You better chill out, but they charge you with assault, buddy. When the pig smells bacon. Oh yeah. <laughs> man. This is entertaining. Come on. I like these type of reactions. I want that lieutenant's name. Fuck, put his hands on me. Following the altercation, Chief Johnson and the officer decided to depart the scene, leaving the incident to the sheriff's department. Johnson later came on media to assert that this wasn't the first instance the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office kept them out of the loop. The Cleveland County Sheriff's Office also took notice of the sad incident and released a statement where they expressed remorse over the incident and also attempted so to provide a context between for the actions of their police department. So there's beef between police departments, bro. For an honest Cleveland County, I'm assuming it's Kentucky because Cleveland as Ohio is right next to Kentucky, Lexington. In Kentucky, Cleveland, Ohio, However, they beat wasn't the first time the police department. Dispute between police officers <laughs> That's kind of funny. As this one inside a jail was even more intense. Them, them goddamn supervisors can I understand. I get, I get so that. Get on July 16th, 2022, several Columbus police officers arrived at the Columbus, the South Carolina, jail with their detainees, only to find out that okay, they okay, were not okay. welcome inside. A day ago, the jail run by the sheriff's county office decided to change the first come first serve policy and instead decided to book deputies prisoners, then state troopers, and then the police officers. The officers, however, without any prior knowledge of this fact, were left stranded outside the building. God bless America. They won't let us in. They're not let you in. They're not let you in. They're not let you in. Hmm? Ain't that right? Nah, you go in there before us, I'm gonna race hell. Watch this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna file a complaint. A legitimate complaint. I'm gonna file a complaint. Yo, cops. Lieutenant Nestor about to get a complaint. 100%. That is the most unprofessional thing I've ever seen in my life. Ever? In your life? As a sheriff's deputy arrived on the spot, he straight away cut the line and went inside. The officers, who were already pretty tense, were agitated seeing this behavior, prompting another deputy to come out and explain everything. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, don't yell it. Don't start yelling. Hey, come on, come on, come on. All right, I'm gonna file a complaint. That's fine. Right. 
That's fine. That's a good argument. Until y'all have directives, I have directives. Sheriff says ain't nobody coming in, only five at a time. SO and GSP has priority. So GS or SO has priority even though. I mean, this is beyond my control. I don't have this so don't yell at me. Alright. Alright. So this last one gets cleared, I'm going to bring it to five. Yeah, unless another SO is going to show up. This is not my decision. Every officer from the Columbus Police Department was extremely upset on this behavior, and they also made sure to let their feelings know. I'm about to have, I'm about to have a stroke. This is a failure of justice. <laughs> and the jail does not like us, so we have five people sitting here outside waiting. Wonderful. It's a failure of justice because you gotta wait your turn to walk in. Sheriff is very pissed with us, okay? <laughs> Man, shut up. Man. Amidst this is entertaining. One of like I said, parked his car in a manner that blocked the deputy's vehicle who had cut them off earlier. Now, this behavior was said to trigger the sheriff deputy who was extremely flustered. Wait, man, we, 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 them, them goddamn supervisors can. I understand. I get, I get so that. So I can get the out the way. Alright, so, so I got a call to go to. I can't go to the car because I want to play stupid ass childish game. At this point, tensions were escalating as one of the officers even went ahead. The criminal just got off. Deputy huh? Adkins, on the other hand, was still trying to get the vehicle away so he could get out of the jail premises. Uh, I'm going to go get my stuff because this is getting stupid. I'm not going to be de armed outside of the jail. Somebody. He got my weapon. They won't play the game. Don't let them in. Nigga, I don't see you getting your ass on the street. Because I'm going to drive the by. And you can tell your goddamn supervisor. Corrupt cops. Yeah, that's how I'm here. Dude, I'm sure you're in the car. Because I got a goddamn call to go to. Guess how they do us. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he's a brother policeman. Of course he's going to drive by and not help. That explains it. As the Columbus police officers refused to move the car aside, the sheriff's deputies had to contact their chief in an attempt to find a resolution. I don't know, but I'm, I'm probably going to quit. This is... This is so stupid. Bro, oh, blah, blah. blah. Stop, Stop throwing a damn hissy fit, bro. Drop your nuts. Stop crying. But you're going to have to talk to the sergeant over there. No, I'll be talking to the chief. Hey, chief, I'm sorry. We got a situation over here. We got CPD won't let our guys out. And they're about to get going to blows. I'm asking your CPD officer to back up his car. And this is he saying that his supervisor told him not to let it. And again, no one, no one on so our side is threatening. We're having a tit for tat over here. Hold on, hold on. Roll down your window. The situation was starting to get heated up as more and more pressure was being put on the poor officer who had been assigned to block the deputy's car. Meanwhile, additional police calls were coming in, which they kept on ignoring. Uh, we gotta stop playing these guys. This is, this is retarded. Yes. I still didn't even keep up with what happened. Like, why are they blocking the deputy? I had to have missed that part. Hey, sorry, we're all standing on the wall. Hey, it's a over. burglary yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. They can't even get to it because niggas is petty, bro. He's, he's <laughs> pride, he's boy, I tell you. One of the seven daily sins, pride. Give him a second. Give him a second. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, 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 I hear you, buddy. Go ahead back it up. Back it up. Just as it seemed the officer might cause the matter to end, the sergeant stormed out, refusing to reconcile with the sheriff's deputy. Hey, Fairbanks, no. Stay right there, man. Hey, oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, your sergeant over here tells him not to move. There is a lock of hoes. She said he's not moving. Uh, we gotta get somebody over here, we gotta put this in the 
the situation was heating up and a supervisor had to calm his deputies down as he moved them in. Maybe the police officer seemed to have overreacted. Well, this female officer clearly had a different perspective on the matter. I try to get through and they immediately halfway open and shut it on me and I hear through the, there's a deputy sentence behind the radio that female officer is trying to get, get in the door. Do not let her in that door. Do not let any officer through that door. From PD. From, from the jailer. The jailer is just saying that through their radio. So they won't even let us through the door. There's one person inside there and now they let the sheriff, they booked the sheriff guys out now in He's like he's screaming at us to move our vehicles. They won't even let any of our guys in. They won't book any of our guys. They won't even let us in to use the bathroom, nothing. Nothing. This is the I think this is where This is it. This like, is this, this is, is this is as bad as it can get. Like we can't principal someone's crime, man. He said they won't even the let him in to use the bathroom, the boy. The sheriff's office Pride. had gone against the police officers <laughs> as they were visibly upset by the treatment. This guy's got a call, but then my sergeant's telling me not to move. Right. I have this and then when I started back in, uh, he told me to stop the gas tank. What about arresting all them for not doing their job? All right. I'm about to say, they're going to arrest each other. Crazy. Just a big old party of doofuses all in cuffs. I'm gonna leave the keys in there. <laughs> Everybody going really to jail tonight. Not wanting to, to be a part of a, to get charged with a crime, dude, for a stand, dude. I'm telling you right now, bro. I'm with an uh, Possession schedule two, obstruction, and run relay objects. So far, it's all felt. The officer stood and waited outside the jail for hours, but nothing seemed to work in their favor. Dejected by this behavior, they decided to take their prisoners to 6th Avenue. Man, damn, court, they ain't let me go to court. All CPD prisoners at the jail, just leave me out there on the, in between the street, between the building and the SO, and I'll be out there in about 30 minutes. Have a seat, watch your head up, huh? Sad, man, they doing this shit. Watch your legs, okay? And also said he was going to ram the car, so. So, I mean. He's going to pass right by us if he ever sees us getting around speed on the street. Wrong bottom. Stop Eventually, the police officers had to release their prisoners too. for the court summit, requiring the inmates, inmates to return to court later this month. It was indeed a sad incident to view. And what's even more troubling is the fact that during this encounter, a robbery was taking place, and none of the officers even attempted to reach there. Later, mm -hmm. however, the sheriff and the Columbus police chief met and set aside their differences. The sheriff also released a statement claiming that their relations are still intact, and both of them have continued to work together to this day. Well, that that was a tough night, but what happens when a police officer is caught breaking the law by his superiors? It's going down. It all began on January 13, 2021, when a distressed caller informed the Bossier City Police Department about a police unit being driven erratically. She also claimed that the driver almost hit the mailbox and swerved into the opposite lanes as well. Moments later, two supervisors from the police department contacted the driver and went over to talk to him in a grocery store parking lot. <laughs> Why they turn the volume down? They don't want us to hear all the details or something. Niggas be slick. So you got off at six o'clock I got you cute. The driver was found to be the off-duty police officer, Travis Coker. As one of the supervisors went over to search Coker's car, he discovered something suspicious. Yeah, Addie's in there. You could be prescribed to Addie's, though. Was he prescribed Addie's, bro? Or are they illegal? If they illegal, that is insanely crazy. So you think you're good to go for driving? I'm good for No, I don't. I don't. That's why I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to get home. Get home, get the kids on the school bus. Let daddy, 
got all that, got all that situation, he's trying to pick the house up. He used the scripture, he can't roll. So I'm sitting there looking Coker claimed to be completely okay and had not taken any meds that day. That's when the supervisor came back and proposed a simple test to him. But Coker appeared hesitant, signifying that he might be guilty. <laughs> that nigga high as a that nigga threw back four of them at his saying, uh, he definitely took some, bro. If I hit something, it was dropping my phone. It ain't the switch. Listen to me. You have to go this route. What I just told you. Okay. I'm telling you, I can't do that. Right? Cap. You don't have no choice. I'm telling you that right now. Officer Coker wanted to dodge the drug test, and despite the supervisor's multiple requests, he remained intact. Bro, why they keep turning, turning the volume now? And what was that noise, nigga? Listen, you're operating. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even try to Coker, Coker, Coker. The captain, I love you to death. But you put me in a bad, you put me in a bad spot. Captain, I'm in a whole spot. I'm trying to take care of my family. You're going to have to go with him, okay? I can't go there right now, Captain. Coker insisted that he wasn't ready for the test at that moment. However, he assured them that he'd return to the department after he paid a visit back home. But the officers weren't too pleased with his behavior. If you was in your POV, and listen, listen, I would be. Listen, listen to me. the shot. If you was in your POV, we wouldn't be out here right now. I know that. But you in the city vehicle. Right. And, and it's her word again. She don't do she got some video tape. Listen to me. This is not you know court. I mean? This is an administrative deal. I know that, but I'm just saying Anybody's out here, totally. Like I said, if I drop my phone over the line, I'm not, not out now. Yes, sir. But I have, I have to get to, I get, give me 35 minutes. I'll come back here. You can't do that. Can't do that. Okay, well, can I get somebody to come get me? You gotta, you gotta come with us. If, if you, I, if I cannot come. If you refuse, you're not gonna have no choice but to put you on the show. What does that mean? That means that we have to take your gun. The supervisors even threatened to have him placed on leave if he it's failed over, to comply man. with He high as hell, too. He denying the hell out of that test. Home. Either way, he losing his badge. So, here's the deal to make it perfectly clear. What he's explaining to you is that he and the captain are giving you an order. In a patrol administration, okay, you're under their command that you have to submit to, to reasonable suspicion testing. For, for he tried to pull the I love him to death card. That ain't gonna help you, buddy. That ain't gonna help you, Coker. This nigga's last name is Coker. Bro, it's blowing me how they keep turning the volume. One of the supervisors reached a breaking point as he was surprised to see the level of ignorance being shown by an officer. Oh. And I'll, and we gonna make sure, we gonna make sure whatever 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 your family needs are, we will make sure those family needs are taken care of. I have to, there is, I have to take care of. I have my mother died two weeks ago. I have a daddy that I I didn't ask for this. You go walked away in the middle of him talking. He ain't trying to hear none of that. He ain't trying to hear none of that. This is how the cops really be treating us regular civilians too, man. He t hey. Don't feel good on the other side of the stick, do it. This nigga is pleading, boy. You lost your job. Let it go. It's over with. Either way, either side of the coin, you're losing your badge. Either side of the coin. 
at this point, it was adamantly clear that Mr. Coker was just being dishonest as he was creating stuff. Something which he continued to do so in the next few minutes. Yeah, here we are. And, and, and. So you got family I do. Shit. I got family. I'm on I got, my off day. Yeah, I'm saying that. You in our car. Bro, I am in your car, right. which I was not driving when y'all pulled up. What you? Okay. But it's but it's somebody who don't like the police. Yeah. I ain't. Man. Is there something wrong with the car? It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it does matter. It doesn't. This is not a DWI. Bro, I know it's not. I ain't drink or drive. You know you're not getting back in the car to drive. That's fine. I'm gonna get my stuff out of it. Right now. It's my stuff. I can believe I can get it. It's my personal stuff. I'm saying I'm being terminated. I'm not saying it's going to happen. But over what, Kevin? Because right now, the way you acted, we're trying to do our job. We're trying to be something. We're trying. You are being a I'm being as respectful as I can be. Are you going yes or no? Kevin, I have an obligation at home. I'm off. I'm not doing right. It's a yes and no answer. I'm not doing right now. Arrest him. We can look around and everybody's broke policy. Okay. They got body cameras on? No. That's, that's against policy. Seeing the situation deteriorate and the supervisor's not... He said everybody has broke Mr. policy. Mr. Coker started to get... Com wow. And that right there, y'all, tells you every single thing you need to know about this country. Everything you need to know about America. This nigga just confidently said, as a cop himself, everyone is broke policy. And hey, y'all know that. Y'all know everyone's broke policy. Like, it's just no big deal. These niggas think they could get away with whatever they want because they have a badge. <laughs> Bro just confidently said with his chest out, everyone's broke policy. Man, put this nigga in cuffs, man. I done heard enough, man. I, I'm tired of watching this shit, man. <laughs> it do that. Listen, it is entertaining, though. Like I said earlier. Intentional and even rude at times. Put this nigga in cuffs, though. It's over with. I need that money. Yeah, you get, yeah, we, we, we don't get my money. We don't get your money. Take him downtown. Get your money from me. Get it now. Such a front part. You can get a front. Hey, stand in front of me. Oh, I'm not I'm in trouble now. No. Why did you stand in front of the damn bitch? Because I said so, that's what. I'm saying. I don't care if you trust me or not. I don't want you in. I don't want you in. That's fine. I don't want you in. How about that? I'm not under arrest. We're going to be fine. Can you grab my book and get upset? There's no possible explanation as to why would Coker be so against the tax. Apart from the fact that he knew he was under the influence of a substance. Apart from the fact that he's obviously high as hell. We had a complaint. We got a sick But you're hindering us to do what we got to do. Y'all really think that I'm going to go? Come on, man. I've got none of my prescriptions out of the door that I have to take today with them. Think about the light of cigarette, like. They've given you a direct order. You have to come up to go send it to chemical testing. Why? Uh, under what grounds? They don't have to have grounds. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They, yes, they do. No, they don't. Did I get moved for a record? It doesn't matter. Sorry, then sorry, take it up with your attorney and civil service. We'll see the I suggest you see. I'm already ready. I know who you are. However, the officers did settle with Mr. Coker as he was allowed to call someone to pick him up and eventually leave the area. Despite this, the heated altercation between the officers showed no... Of course he was, y'all. Um, <laughs> they just said they let the nigga cause the body to pick him up eventually. And he, he didn't even have to, the, what, the nigga didn't have to submit to the test. I don't know, man. It was the last reaction tonight, y'all. I'm tired, man. It's gonna do it for this video. Um, it was only like a minute left or whatever. And it doesn't look like nothing else was happening, y'all. But... Yeah, it's crazy as hell that he ended up getting off with that. <laughs> and the nigga admitted that. He basically admitted he broke policy, did he not? The nigga said, we've all broke policy before. Is that not self-admitting that you just broke policy? Like, I don't know, man. I don't even care, bro. Cops, they think that badge give them the most power in the world, man. Niggas is, hey. Niggas are goobers, bro. That shit kills me, bro. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, aside from that, wondering how he didn't get locked up, um,
this was an entertaining video. You know what I'm saying to me. <laughs> y'all let me know if this was entertaining to y'all as well. But with that being said, man, that's gonna do it for this video. As always, my name is Isaac. I'd appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying turn on that post notification bell as well, so you're notified whenever I drop another video, man. Um, don't forget to head over to my Instagram. Follow me over there, you know what I'm saying? It's just official Isaac N underscore, you know what I'm saying? Um, and head over to my main channel and check that out too, man. It's just Isaac, I-S-A-A-C, man. Pranks and everything over there all the time. I actually just dropped one, man. I told y'all that earlier. I just dropped one like an hour or two ago, man. So uh, this video over, man. You might as well go ahead and click off of this. <laughs> I ain't talking about that. What you doing? You still ain't clicked off yet? Go go to the main channel, bro. Go check that out. <laughs> this video over. Sorry, nah, y'all. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, head over to the main channel. Check that out. Check that out. <laughs> and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.